The President, please be seated. The trial chamber is now back in session. Uh, it's uh, session to hear uh, on uh, the facts. And we give the floor to the international co-prosecutor to put question to the accused. Please, the prosecutor, the, pl the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur President. Mr. President, I understand that I have about 40 minutes left in relation to questioning, um, but I would also ask that, uh, depending on the, the length of the accused replies, I'll try and keep my questions as focused as I can, but uh, if at the end a few more minutes is, is required, I would ask uh, that that be allowed, but perhaps if I um, je vous donne par avance de pouvoir decide, uh, effectivement terminer. Donc, euh, je note que j'ai 40 minutes pour l'instant. Et vous demande. Uh, Mr. Kangoki, thank you very much for your response this morning de to help us understand Kangoki, merci um, nos questions ce how you pour nous aider lived à comprendre your day-to-day -day life comment whilst you were chairman of S21. Quotidien lorsque vous dirigiez I think we concluded that you worked about 12 hours a day and based on your jour, answers previously uh, to the, the chamber, chamber donné you said you split your time one third on management, one third on training, gestion, and one third on annotations. Pour, uh, annotations. That would mean, therefore, that on average, you're spending about four hours a day on each of those three important duties. Would that be correct? The accused, uh, Mr. Uh, Co-prosecutor, it's not 100% correct. Ce pas 100 I exact. spent uh, almost all my time Je to do the annotations. Au travail annotations. Thank you. Well, why did you say to the civil party Question. lawyer that you spent a third of your time managing and resolving issues? A third of your time teaching and training, and a third of your time responding to superiors with your annotations. Why did you say that? Then? The accused. I think it might be a translation problem. I did not make a clear distinction like that. Perhaps if I just um, Question. read back the quote to you. Je cherche cette citation. Perhaps I'll leave it for the moment, but Je uh, plus tard. their honours can uh, look at the record and make their own mind up. In any event, if we can move towards your si S21 committee meetings, which you said 21. to the trial chamber that you had them about two or three times a day. Often you had them two or three times a day, and that was with Comrade Hoare. Do you remember saying that? The accused, uh, when I have something, I call Comrade Hoare to come and we discuss. This is our discussion to make a decision uh, together. We can call it a, a meeting. It is very often that we do that, uh, we met. And it's fair to say that because Hugh Stray was based at Preissar, you more often met with Comrade Hoare than Hugh Sray because of the, the distance between Preissar and S21. The accused, uh, Mr. Uh, prosecutor, is not 100% correct. Uh, my task, uh, I, uh, I was very close with uh, Comrade Hoy, uh, the guards, and it's 
oui. so um, the re-education it's not so uh, close not always there and an answer to a question by Judge Cartwright, which she put to you, where she said the S21 has a broad range of responsibilities, as you have described. This means, does it not, that you knew exactly on a day-to-day -day basis exactly what was happening at S21? Is that correct? Que exact? And you responded, Your Honor, that is correct. Vous avez répondu, oui, exact. Therefore, through these S21 committee meetings, Par conséquent, the meetings with four, que vous you knew about Hall, the numbers detained, you knew about the conditions, vous you obviously knew about the torture, and you knew about the killing. Is that right? Uh, yes, that is correct. Uh, the judge has I knew uh, that uh, activity in general, but uh, he was the one who implemented it. He, he knew that much better than me. And that's because he, you were the manager and you had to delegate responsibilities because you couldn't do everything. Is that correct? The accused. Uh, it does not mean that I could not do everything, but the time did not faire, allow me to do everything. So I need to delegate uh, some of the tasks to my subordinate. I didn't mean to say Question. that you were not capable. Je ne vous, I just pas meant to say that you, that you didn't have enough time. Simplement, je voulais dire que vous n'avez pas suffisamment de temps. Where would you meet Comrade Hoare when you met frequently? Where would that be? Ces entretiens fréquents. Où est-ce que cela se passait? The accused. I I called Réponse. him to my office fais, uh, on Street uh, 95. I 95. called Hoare to come to my office at Street number uh, 95. Also, though. You Question. went to the sculptor's workshop Mais vous allez aussi à in the compound dans of the high school frequently as well. Is that correct? Fréquemment aussi, n'est-ce pas? The accused, uh, Mr. Uh, prosecutor, after I felt hopeless in my life, after um, uh, uh, you, uh, Hong. I went to the sculpture building almost uh, every day. And the sculptures workshop is in Question. building E on the map that we've seen bien on the photograph. The center building le in the high school. Au centre. The accused, Réponse. yes, it is oui, correct. Exact. And that's in the same Question. building that the prisoners were registered and photographed and their biographies were taken initially, is that correct? Leur, uh, the pas? accused, yes, it is correct. Oui, exact. I would like to ask you a Question. few questions now Je about how you knew sur, uh, about the detentions, the conditions, and the tortures, and the killings through these S21 committee meetings. You've told us that you knew, and it's clear in your evidence, you knew because you were involved in it. But how, in these committee meetings, did Comrade Hoare tell you what was happening at S21 on a daily basis? What types of things were you discussing? The accused. Uh, the, the detentions and uh, the smashing. 
uh, I uh, delegate uh, the other subordinate to do 100%. Uh, so they reported to me only a yes. in uh, accidental Donc, incident, yes, for example, one of the uh, prisoners uh, uh, reported to me when Achakong uh, took uh, the weapon and they immediately reported to me Another Cela one is that uh, when, uh, uh, when uh, the small, fois, the interrogator, uh, interrogator abuse uh, one of the female prisoners. Um, so uh, I uh, get information immediately when there's an incident. And the subordinate uh, had to uh, be responsible, responsible before me that no prisoner uh, would be released Adieu or would be escaped. So no one will be released. Les so uh, that's uh, my uh, overall uh, Justifié du fait que personne n'est relâché ou que personne ne s'évade. But good management doesn't arise out of waiting for problems to occur. Gérer ce n'est pas simplement attendre que les problèmes surgissent. When you predict problems and you make sure that your systems are in place and your systems are working. So I assume. That's why you met so frequently with four and at, at times two to three times a day to make sure that your systems were running well S21. Isn't that correct? That's why you met so frequently? The accused, uh, uh, your honors, uh, your assumption is uh, it's not wrong, but uh, let me report about my meeting with Ho. When there is uh, urgent, I call him to make uh, uh, instruction to him. So uh, the interrogation, I also instruct uh, Ho. So when uh, the implication, uh, when uh, wider, I, I called him to it, it was me who called him to come, but sometimes uh, he uh, came to me. But in general, I called him to come and I made new order to him. So would it be fair to say that there were lots of little problems arising all the time with who was to be killed? When, when they were to be killed, uh, when prisoners were coming in, because, because you met with Hor so frequently, there was lots of problems occurring almost on a daily basis, would you say that? And that's why you met. The accused, that is correct. In the, oui, there were many things that I had to meet with her for daily uh, activity. For example, uh, the upper echelon sent uh, a number of uh, prisoners and I call him to come. Uh, we will have uh, to uh, receive those uh, prisoners. And so when you resolve these problems, you try to make sure that your prison was running smoothly. En sorte que la prison tourne bien. The accused, that réponse. is oui, correct. I exact. try my best uh, to do so. Mieux, en ce sens. Perhaps if we Question. can now move to 1978. And you testified in court on the 8th of June, Le 8 juin, à at pages 52 and 53, that in 1978, you were so busy compared to previous years because the party needed us more and consequently you needed more people trained and polished. Why did the party need you so much more in 1978? The accused, uh, Mr. Uh, Prosecutor, in 1976-77, I was so busy uh, with the annotation almost all day to do the annotations. For example, I uh, I told to the invest uh, co-investigating judges. Um, uh, several times and also Plusieurs the trial fois, chamber here. Uh, the annotations on the documents uh, when it 
came to uh, the Nuan Chi uh, period, uh, he uh, did not uh, feel very interested, and then I uh, need to change uh, to do the uh, education for the interrogator, so, and then I send them uh, to do the job after uh, the training. So this is uh, in 1978, the training was very often, but uh, in early 1978, I use uh, just uh, uh, less time for the annotation, but spend more time with the education and uh, some part of my time I went to the sculpture building so that I can release my stress in doing uh, uh, that kind of work. But if you can answer the question, please, why did the party need you more? Why did it need S21 more in 1978? Exigeait-il plus de vous en 1978? The accused, the party needs. S21 more in 1978 because the more people were sent to S21. So I was needed to provide education to the interrogator uh, more often and uh, as many as possible. Thank you. Mr. President, if Question. I could show Merci, E68, Annex 4, e it's a chart 4, relating to the S21 arrest by a month. Um, the audio visuals uh, officer, please connect uh, the uh, video link to the uh, co prosecutor uh, PC. Mr. Kang Guk if you look at the chart um, on your screen, you can see that from April 77 to June 78, it in fact was a very busy period at S21 in terms of the number of arrests that were brought to the number of people that were brought there. Do you agree? Dear Q, so Mr. Uh, Prosecutor, I agreed. Oui, Monsieur le Co-Procureur, je suis d'accord. So would it be fair to say that the Réponse. Que question? the numbers of people that were taken to S21 directly S21 affected on how busy you were in terms of detaining votre and killing? De travail pour ce qui Do est you agree? Des incarcérations et des exécutions. Êtes-vous d'accord avec cette affaire? Dear Q, I agree. Réponse, oui, je suis and now if we can look to Question. E68, Annex 40, document le 68, which is a chart 40, autre tableau, that shows the number of S21 personnel, de, the number of your staff du de S21, that were imprisoned at S21 and consequently S21 killed. Et par la suite, tué. If we look at the interrogation unit, si and now this is from the revised prison list, you can see that 34 interrogators are listed as being killed or imprisoned and consequently killed at S21. These interrogators were your interrogators that carried out the tortures on other people. That's correct, isn't it? Pas? <coughs> the accused. Réponse. I believe the office of the co-prosecutor has such figures, so I think it is appropriate and correct. Le bureau des coprocureurs a pu uh, faire cette analyse et donner ces chiffres. Uh, J'y crois. But does that does that figure? Question. That number of about 34 interrogators from the S21 interrogation unit, S21 does that sound about right in relation to your memory? 
as to how many were arrested and killed. Quand on souvenir quant au nombre de membres du personnel qui ont été arrêtés et tués. The accused, I believe, it is correct. Je crois que c'est correct. Now, in relation to S21 personnel that were killed, isn't it correct that you had to notify your superiors pas vrai que vous deviez notifier vos for that to happen, pour for que their death to be approved? Is that right? Et, uh, the accused. Réponse. It is not a notification, it is a report and seek approval from my approval. It is not a notification. If it is a notification, it means if we both make a decision, then we send a notification. But this is different. This is to seek approval from the approval. And it's to seek approval from your request une approbation de votre requête visant à ce que ces personnes soient tuées. La requête vient de vous. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. And if I can refer you to your statement that you made to the co-investigative judges, D71-0018-54-2011, you were talking about the purges at S21, and you stated, if I remember well, there were never any exceptions. I always reported to the superiors, and they always ordered the arrest of the person implicated. Is that correct? The accused. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, I do not want to talk about uh, a slight difference or discrepancy in the in translation. As I've already confirmed to the Co-Prosecutor, the arrest could only be conducted after the decision was made from the upper echelon. Then we would conduct the arrest. That is the process whereby we would not violate any regulation. That is the process whereby we would not violate any regulation. That is the process whereby we would not violate any regulation. But you were quite Question. happy Mais to send your staff vous aucun to their death. À envoyer vos propres membres du personnel à la mort. The accused. Réponse. What you said is uh, not correct. Ce que vous dites pas vrai. I was not happy. Je étais pas heureux. However, if uh, we did not do it, Mais we si would pas, be in danger. If there was an incident in that unit in violation of any uh, party line, then we would be responsible. Party, if the co-prosecutor look at the si what of what happened when a young male mistreated the teacher, if I knew it was a crime, I would not spare him. So, being happy or not, si the issue already happened, so we had to provide a solution. Quand un se posait, que nous and that was what happened. Une solution. You've said on Question. numerous occasions that your Vous role in S21, as you have just said, is not one that you've relished. Not one that Je you enjoy. You've stated to the co-investigative judges that you committed your criminal actions out of fear of the consequences for failing to carry them out. However, you testified on the 27th of April at pages 86 and 87, page 86 and 87 you said that you, you personally was scared when Von Vett was arrested. Why didn't I see the same when other people, especially subordinates, were arrested? I did not even think of that. I only valued myself higher than the others at the time. Cela ne pas venu à My question is, Von Vett, he was arrested on the 2nd of November 1978, late 1978. 
Do you agree with that? Fin de 78, n'est-ce pas? The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, I recalled the date. Yes, I also oui. remember what you have just stated. Oui, oui, c'est bien la date et ce que vous venez de citer. Je m'en rappelle. Can you give me? Question. Can you give the court some reasons why before? À la chambre pourquoi? Why before Von Vett was arrested? L'arrestation de Von Vett. Why you were not? Personally scared Vous n'aviez pas personnellement when other peur subordinates lorsque d'autres subordonnés étaient arrêtés. And they are your words. Ici, ce sont vos mots que je cite. The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, the subordinates at S21 was the components Mes subordonnés à S21 implicated or involved with a cadre named Nepon, alias so, Nepon, former 703 secretary. So it secretary is a, a separate unit from M13. M13. They were the elements of S21, but they were separate S21, from the elements of M13. If M13, a number of M13 Elements des éléments were arrested, de M13, then it would be unavoidable that one day I would be arrested. Un jour, été arrêté that is the reason voilà I was not really worried pas, about my safety, je suis pas but I was shocked and worried when the cadres from the North Zone were arrested because ont été some of our elements were also from that zone. So that is my response zone. to you regarding the arrest of my subordinates. Voilà pour ce qui concerne les arrestations de mes subordonnés. And you were personally scared Question. when Von Vett was arrested because he was your boss at M13. M13. Is that right? Est exact. The accused, Réponse. Mr. Co-Procutor, as I already reported to the co-investigating judges clearly, clairement. when I was really scared, J'ai eu véritablement peur. It was meant when Ngaju, an ethnic Chinese, was arrested. He's the person who provided support to the revolution. Avait apporté son soutien à la révolution. And I think it was in early 1978. That's when I started to feel hopeless in my life. And when Von Wet and Chai Kum Hu were later arrested, I was fully hopeless. Until I was so weak that I could not walk or work on the 2nd or the 3rd of January 79, when we were ordered to remove all the prisoners, I was so hopeless and so exhausted I could not walk. You say you were so hopeless and exhausted. And yet, right up to the end, before the Vietnamese came into Phnom Penh, you were very busy with your job, annotating, training, and managing S21. Do you agree with that? The accused, Mr. Co. Proxeter, I was not busy. The annotation, non, as I reported to you earlier, I stopped annotating quite a long time ago. Regarding the training, pour ce qui est de la I was forced to do it, so it was unavoidable to provide the training to the cadres. Regarding the guards or the taking the prisoners out, they were done by other people. It was my role to make sure that they would not release any prisoners because those people who were sent to S21 had to be smashed according to the order. When I felt so hopeless, it was after the 2nd or the 3rd of January 1979. That's when the time I could not work. I slept day and night long. Even when my wife tried to wake me up, I would not want to wake up. So to, so to be clear, the date when you felt very hopeless was in 1979. C'est en 79 où vous vous êtes senti très tout à fait tout à fait désespéré, n'est-ce pas? When I was hopeless and slept day and night, it was in 79. It was time that I felt I was just waiting for the death. 
je ne pouvais pas dormir ni le jour ni la nuit. And perhaps you may want to rethink oui, your last mort. answer because I would like je vais to show a document. Réponse, it's E5 slash 2 point. 5-2, Khmer, ERN, 0022-6779, English, 0028-4080, and French, 0029-4526, if that can be shown on the screen, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président, si nous pouvons afficher cet écran, cette ce document à l'écran. Mr. Kanguk, you, can you le look at that Monsieur Kanguk, note il. on that confession, confession of Kim Sok, ce document, and can you confirm that that's your writing? Pouvez-vous confirmer qu'il s'agit là de votre écriture? Yes or no, please. Oui ou non. The accused. Réponse. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, co this is my handwriting. Can you also confirm that the date of the annotation is the 23rd of December, 1978? The accused, I acknowledge uh, the date is like what you said. N'est-ce pas? Réponse de l'accusé. Now, oui. I thought previously you said Question. that you stopped Question. annotating vous avez dit que vous earlier avez than that, but it appears that almost two weeks date, up until the Vietnamese came into Phnom Penh, you were still busily working. À and if we look at this annotation, Et si nous it's been oui. sent to respected brother, and it's in relation to missing or hidden Vietnamese, and you've asked, it, you've asked, and I quote, please allow me to arrest. At the moment, we control his ability to escape with respect. In this annotation, you're asking someone to arrest a, a Vietnamese person. Is that correct? Vietnamien. That's exact. The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, co the person's name was Trung within the I-71 framework. Trung, dans le the incident took place, and I reported to the upper echelon. Ai so it supérieur. was not a general annotation. It was the générale. incident that happened at I-71, and that we had to be self-mastery and not to let the person escape and destroy the S-21, because it is my responsibility. From this annotation, it's, it looks as though this person is not detained in S-21, but you're requesting to have him arrested. Accused. Accusé. The important person was Trung. La personne importante His est activity Trung. was constantly monitored. Son activité était so we had no ability to surveiller. follow Et or monitor anybody outside our respective unit in order to prevent the person from destroying de us. À empêcher and que qui que ce soit puisse nous by looking, verifying the document, it is not appropriate because on the 8th, because in August 78, 
The interpreter could not read the document or follow the accused. I, I would ask the accused to repeat again. It is very hard to explain the documents as the accused. The, the problem of the hidden Yuan was linked to Region 25. The father here, he was the messenger of Hui. And Hui, as I remember, he was arrested on the 6th of December 78. Therefore, this year uh, was slightly arrested before that, because when the boss was arrested, when the superior was arrested, then the messenger would be arrested too. And he, I would not know where which unit Trung belongs to. And he, I annotated on the left. According to the verification, the data on the document is incorrect. Because the August 78, he was at Kampong Chunang. There was no reason for him, and he just uh, talking or saying things which is not true, and he quest further interrogation. But I could not uh, complete the sentence. So it is very hard for me to provide any clear answer to this uh, incomplete document. So I am confused. I do not know where Trung is. I saw from the beginning that Trung was at S21. But then in August 78, he was in Kampong Chenang. I cannot understand this annotation at all. However, I do not deny that this document is not an SME1 document. It is, in fact, an SME1 document. So if I can read the full confession, then probably I can provide a clear answer. Thank you. And who was the messenger of the chief of the guards, Kim Hoi? Who was the messenger of the chief of the guards, Kim Hoi? Kim Hoi, qui était son messager? The accused, l'accusé. This Hoi is not Hum Hoi. Ce Hoi là, This ce Hoi is Nun Hoi. Il s'agit de Nun Hoi. At S21. S21. And at Preso, and this here was his ça, messenger. I, I still can re re recognize his face if I see him now. Si je le vois, je <coughs> if we can ask the document to be taken off the screen. Mr. President, um, I have gone through my questioning and have about 20 more minutes. I would ask um, that, I be, that we be able to put some certain matters to the accused. And we suggest we take 20 minutes. It's a, obviously a very important part of the case. L'ensemble des questions, uh, il s'agit de très, très importants dans les débats. J'aimerais recueillir euh, les propos de l'accusé sur un certain nombre de euh, questions. Et j'attends votre permission. The president, uh, I noticed the presence of the defense counsel, François Roux, you take the floor. Je vois que Maître Roux souhaite prendre la parole, je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, il Mr. y a maintenant President, trois heures que les coprocureurs interrogent l'accusé. Tout le monde a pu constater qu'un certain nombre de questions apparaissaient hors du sujet. Il appartenait aux coprocureurs de poser des questions pertinentes dans le délai qui était le leur. Au début de cet après-midi, mon confrère a dit « Le temps que je demande dépendra des réponses de l'accusé ». Tout le monde aura pu constater que depuis ce matin, l'accusé a répondu par des réponses très courtes. Le procureur ne peut donc pas se plaindre d'avoir pris du temps à cause de réponses qui auraient été trop longues. Monsieur le Président, je demande à ce qu'il soit mis un terme 
À l'interrogatoire, il appartenait au bureau des coprocureurs de mieux gérer leurs questions et de mieux gérer leur temps. Monsieur le Président, si je puis me permettre de répondre brièvement. Monsieur le juge, ce thème de ce fonctionnement de S21 constitue le cœur de ce procès. Le défendant était fier quand il travaillait à S21. Whether or not he was acting under duress, whether or not he had any choice, are very, very central issues to the case. And your honours, the prosecution appreciate and welcome very much these trial management guidelines that have been put in place. But I would ask that the prosecution be allowed to ask this next series of questions for about 20 minutes, bearing in mind. All the amount of time, effort, and money that has been put into this court, just to put some ideas to the accused to see what his view is. And, Mr. President, if the defence is really, genuinely wanting to come to this court, and with repentance, with avec un repentir with the idea of telling the truth in relation to all of the matters i don't think they should be objecting to 20 minutes of questioning il y a puisse y avoir une objection à ce que l'on poursuive pendant 20 minutes son interrogatoire je vous remercie monsieur monsieur le président quand des questions constituent le cœur d'un interrogatoire, on n'attend pas que le temps soit terminé pour poser ces questions. Il fallait les poser avant. Vous avez raison, c'était des questions importantes. Pourquoi avez-vous attendu que votre temps soit terminé pour demander encore et encore du temps The president. The president. The international prosecutor. Please mention briefly what is your intention to put the question to the accused. What is your main purpose and what is the necessary? Because the remark by Franz Foro is appropriate. You should select the main question and in-depth question to the operation of S21 and add S21 and and Chung Ek and other questions. The the extent of those questions, I think you understand, and you study the case for years. So, so what is your really intention to ask those questions in the twenty minutes you requested? 
le supplément de temps que vous Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, it's a series of questions that relate to the fact that this accused was not in the state of fear that he says he was either in the courtroom or to the co-investigative judges. And I would like to put to him a number of factors that would highlight that fact and would ask that he would comment on them. Now, Your Honour, if Il nous faire part de ses observations. It's difficult in some respects to determine when certain questions are to be put to the accused. Maybe this series of questions could be put now, or perhaps they could be put in another part of the case when we talk about the accused's personality or in another section of the case. So I'm in your Honour's hands when those questions should be put, but I think they should be put. Um, at some point. Ces questions pourront être posées, mais je pense que ces questions devront être posées à un moment ou à un autre de nos travaux. The President, now the trial chamber uh, uh, permit uh, you to ask the question within 20 minutes, and uh, we will not allow you to uh, put the question to uh, the biography of the accused. Um, except it is not a repeated question uh, to the biography uh, you asked uh, at this um, trial hearing. Thank you, Your Honours. I, I take note of those remarks. Je prends bonne note de ces remarques, répond le co-procureur international. Mr. Kangook, perhaps Monsieur if I can give you some reasons that I'd ask, ask you to comment on on why you were not personally scared when other subordinates were arrested before Von Vett. I submit that you were not personally scared because you were extremely good at your job and you were a great asset for the CPK party. Do you agree? The accused. Um, yes, it is true that um, I was the one who do the good job for them. And moving on from that, your superiors, Sun Sen, Nguyen Chia, and Pol Pot, were very satisfied with your, with your work. They made no complaints. They sought your opinions on security matters. And they saw that you were a very proactive manager to implement the CPK policy. Do you agree with that? Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec cette affirmation? The accused. Accusé. I uh, told you truthfully uh, when I'm talking about the national security and also the security of the Central Committee, so they uh, try to think about that. So what they order me to do, I do anything as order. So they felt about their security, and about the CPK security, uh, they made that decision, and they order me to do. And I had to follow uh, the order 100 percent. So, but I was not the one who has a cell mass on this policy or that policy. No, I don't have that kind of uh, stance. To you that you were not scared before Von Vett was arrested because, as you stated in your own words, I was regarded as the German shepherd. That's why they trusted me. And I'm referring to your superiors. You believe that your superiors trusted you that's why you were not scared. Is that right? Avec confiance en vous, et c'est pour cela que vous n'aviez pas peur avant l'arrestation de Bonnevet. Est-ce exact? The accused. 
Uh, when you are talking about Lorsque fear, it has a de degree. When the uh, North Zone cadre was arrested, Lorsque so my fear uh, become from less to uh, the most extent uh, to uh, the degree that I was uh, very uh, weakened to myself. I could not uh, work. So I trust in a manner that I try to work for them. Uh, I follow any order day and night, so I spend of, uh, most of my time to work. But uh, so the fear, the degree of fear become increasing uh, at that time. I also put it to you that you were not scared because you were very proud of your work. You were proud of the techniques that you adopted. You were, in terms of torture, you were proud of your techniques in relation to training and education. You were proud that you had that position. You at S21 had the only position that could impart the CPK policy as educa educator and trainer. And that position made you feel proud that you were entrusted with that responsibility. The accused, I would like to tell uh, Mr. Prosecutor truthfully that uh, what I hoped, uh, continue to hope to be alive because I was so honest to them. I did not dare anything. I do 100% what's order, and in other matters, I am good at education. It is a, a secondary work. Other people could do that, but the true nature that they need me and that I, I was the, the most important person for them is I am the most loyal to them. And that's why I think you said in court recently that when you met Pol Pot or when you were in Pol Pot's company in 1978, you got a strange feeling and it made you feel good when you were in Pol Pot's company. Do you remember saying that? The accused, Mr. Prosecutor, I never accompany Pol Pot. I went to a study session. Uh, Pol Pot was the instructor at that time. I was uh, happy because uh, my former uh, teacher was Sun Sen, who teach uh, politics. Sun Sen was the seventh member in the party. But uh, that time, I was trained by the, the first uh, person in the party. I feel uh, a bit relaxed. So I could not des describe uh, my feeling at that time. So uh, that was my comparison. Uh, before, I used to learn with uh, the seventh member of the party, and now it was the, the first uh, person in the party who taught. That's why I feel that way. And I put it to you that you were not scared because you were one of the most highly connected CTK members. You were connected to Son Sen, to Nguyen Chia, and you felt protected, you felt untouchable. That's why you were not scared before Von Vett was arrested. Do you agree? Au sein du PCK, n'est-ce pas? The accused, uh, this matter, I am difficult to determine sujet, myself. I was in fear. Uh, uh, another cela, matter that I hoped, but uh, little hopes at that time, very little espoir. hopes. That's uh, why I was fearful. Si peu, Mr. Kanguk, Eve, would it be fair to say that you knowingly 
intentionally, willingly and continually commanded a system of abuse that inflicted terror on innocent Cambodian people. They accuse Mr. Uh, prosecutor. Uh, this uh, matter, uh, the fearful in uh, the rank and among uh, the people across the country, it is it was true. It was not only uh, those who who were fearful. It's myself. I was fearful. But uh, who created that kind of uh, 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 paranoia? It was the central committee of the party. We are the tool of the party. It affects the feeling of the, uh, the people of Cambodia and the people in, in the rank. It was the central committee who imposed the terror. And if we fail to follow their order, we will be executed. Les ordres. Mr. Kangaroo, I would like you to look uh, at a document exécuter. I will now show you. Le it's P000 5319. Document number D69. Document D69. Mr. Kanguk, do you see the Monsieur photograph on your screen? Kangeki, vous pouvez voir cette photographie à l'écran. Yes, I do. Oui. The accused. accusé. This is a photograph of a baby and presumably, presumably her mother contained in a small cell in a school you picked and in a cell you designed. Dans une cellule que vous avez, euh, in all votre good conscience, dans le how could you have ever, du lycée, ever en votre thought conscience, comment that these were the faces of the enemy? Ces personnes représentaient les visages, étaient les visages des ennemis. The accused. L'accusé. Uh, this case. Uh, Whoever uh, could not uh, reply because those who Personne were considered as enemy, it was the central committee. Bien it was the four group of people who assigned the right to decide and smash. So anyone qui, qui uh, out of the four groups, um, the security police uh, had to follow their de decision. De so um, this person and the baby uh, was considered as enemy. It was not uh, S21. It was not me. It was the upper echelon who made decision. So when there is an order decision, we had to follow. If we fail to do that, we will be beheaded. Centre du parti de la hiérarchie. Nous devions suivre et ses ordres et obéir aux ordres. Le coprocureur international, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser. Le président, le président. I would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyers and the questions to be put to the accused. I would like to know if there is any internal agreement amongst the four groups. Do you see at the time or there is one representation of your four, of the four groups for this fact? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, um, I would uh, like to uh, inform the chamber um, what civil party lawyers agreed upon 
J'aimerais um, vous faire part de ce qui a été convenu avec l'ensemble des coavocats pour ne pas participer, étant donné que les représentants du groupe numéro 4 ne peuvent pas être en mesure d'assister à l'audience de demain. Um, We suggest that Nous suggérons uh, group four que le starts, groupe 4 then commence, puis sera suivi par le then groupe numéro 3, group puis one and le then groupe numéro 2, et le groupe numéro 2. We uh, agreed upon to share the Nous time and de partager uh, le temps qui a été mis à notre disposition. From each group, one representative et chaque représentant de chacun accused. de nos groupes euh, va Thank you procéder à l'interrogatoire de l'accusé. Je vous remercie. During midweek, the President, the man, oh, I would like to invite the, the lawyer for the civil party in group four. J'invite alors le groupe quatre à so commencer. So only one representative un représentant par for this group to put questions donc un représentant to pour the accused quatre. regarding the operation of S21 pour cette, and ces and questions qui And I would like to remind you that the time allocation for each group is 45 minutes. The floor is yours. Donc 45 minutes. May it be lawyer Hong Kong Soon. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Jonas. All the participants of the proceedings. In order to Not to waste time, let me Madame put the question straight away to the accused, Mr. Kang Yeo, regarding the operation at S21 and the killing field at Cheng My first question is Voici ma première question. When you, Mr. Kang Yeo, alias Dutch, was the chairman of S21, until you got married towards the end of 1975, in between that period up to The period of 76 or 77, your wife was pregnant or delivered a baby. Is that correct? A été enceinte et a accouché, n'est-ce pas? The accused me. Réponse. That is true. Oui, c'est exact. Thank you. Say, is Mr. Hong Kong Soon? Question. My next question is, until 1977, 77, between the time that you became the chairman of S21, you already told the chamber that there were numerous children who were sent to S21 along with their parents. So at the time you were aware of the children, some of whom were interrogated and some were not before they all were smashed. So the question is when you returned to your house after work, what was your feeling in comparing those children who were smashed and your young baby at home? Réponse. Those children, in principle, we provided them the instruction, but I did not witness uh, them by myself. Je n'ai pas été témoin de ce que faisaient ces Regarding enfants. Regarding my child, détenu, et pour ce que de mes propres enfants, the child survived because of my survival. Ils ont survécu parce If que j'ai moi-même survécu. Party decided to si le parti a décidé de m'arrêter, then my children, my enfants, baby and the wife will be arrested and killed as well. Jeunes enfants et ma femme auraient I am, été tués. If I were gone, then the rest will be gone. Si je devais partir, ma famille partirait avec moi. It means my relatives, my siblings, six of my siblings and my parents will be arrested. Ça veut dire the que whole lot would be mes frères et sœurs auraient aussi été so, 
I saw myself separately from them because I thought of my baby and that's why I needed to survive. That was my mentality and thinking at the time. Thank you, says Mr. Hongkam Soon. Let me continue my question. Regarding the victims or they were called detainees or prisoners at S21, You told the chamber that all the children who were sent for detention or who entered S21, their fate was already decided. It means they were already dead. But you also informed the chamber that the food ration for the prisoners was minimal. That's what I heard during your statement. The question is, did you know the distribution of food ration to the prisoners who were yet to be smashed? If so, how? For example, were the prisoners distributed with a bowl each or one ladle of gruel each? And how the food was distributed? This is because from the painting I saw that the prisoners were stacked into a long roll of bars inside the room. So how the food was distributed? Was they provided one ladle of gruel each and they were fed one ladle each at a time? Can you explain on this matter? The accused. Your question is related to the law on humanity. However, Personally, I cannot provide you the answer because I did not witness the situation by myself. What I said is not means that I denied my crimes against humanity in the in providing or distribution the food ration. The only issue that I did not witness these things myself. Mais il se fait que je n'ai pas vu cela de mes yeux. I would like just to state that the S21 prison was not the same as the prisons existing in the state of law. N'est pas une prison comparable à celle qui existe dans le système. They were just a depository for people to be killed. C'était une prison or we could say it's a, an execution chamber. So when you talk about the law of humanity, it is far from being correct. And I don't blame my subordinates. It is my responsibility. However, in reality, I could not explain it to you because I did not witness it myself. Thank you, says Mr. Hongam Soon. My next question is related to the torture or the interrogation to extract the confession. You told the chamber already that S21 did not have any insect or poisonous insects or to be used for the interrogation or centipede or to use the method of pulling out nails. The question is, how did you know that during the interrogation or the torture, and how many prisoners were whose nails were pulled out? Comment pouvez-vous le savoir et comment pouvez-vous savoir combien de prisonniers ont eu les ongles arrachés? Regarding the pulling out of the finger nails or toes, yes, it was reported to me, and I told the person stop it immediately. And I told Comrade Ho that he told me the the nail was pulled, so it was easier to get the confession. After he reported that to me, I told him, no, that was a criminal act, so the practice had to be stopped immediately. And when the witness said his 
nails were pulled out. Yes, I would. I would not deny the allegation because the criminal act did happen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Lawyer. Were you aware, or did you believe that, after you ordered your subordinates to stop the torture by pulling out nails or by burning, or by using cigarettes, lighter? The accused. Réponse. Frankly speaking, I was not sure regarding the burning. Je n'en étais pas sûr pour ce qui Let est des brûlures. Let I put that matter aside for now. I believe the nail pulling out was stopped after I ordered to come back home. Mais pour les ongles, ça s'est arrêté quand j'ai donné ordre à Or de mettre un terme à cette pratique. Try to find the person who practiced the nail pulling. But I believed it was stopped because if it was not stopped, and if I knew, then I would warn Comrade Ho that he had to be responsible before the party. And regarding the cigarette burning, I believed it existed. Maybe Comrade Ho witnessed it, or he did not witness it, or if he witnessed it, he would not report it to me anyway. Thank you. Il avait vu, il ne pourrait pas rapporter cela de toute façon. Informs the chamber or the president. Vous avez dit à la chambre des gens en question du président que vous ne souhaitiez pas de sécurité. Vous chargez de ces tâches de la sécurité que vous souhaitiez être affecté. However, because of your superior, Sonsen did not allow you to. To transfer, so you continue your security work. So the detention or the interrogation of prisoners at S21, as you said, was not any was no difference to those practiced at M13. Regarding the physical torture. For instance, the beating up, the pulling out of nails, or the cigarette burning on the body, that was the form of physical torture. And what about the torture in the form of paying homage to the dog? Of when the prisoners were forced to eat excrement, was it a psychological torture? Est-ce qu'il s'agit là de torture psychologique? The accused. Réponse. For the physical torture, it existed in four forms, as I reported earlier. And for the psychological torture, the eating of the excrement was a violation of the torture practiced, as well as the pulling out of nails. The paying homage to the dog was practiced. And because of its effectiveness, I accepted it to be used. Because I thought that then the prisoners would not be hurt physically. But of course you can say this is a psychological torture that is paying homage to the dog. However, after I learned that it was used, then I allow it, I allow the practice to continue. Thank you, Sir Lawyer. So, the when you allow the continuation of the practice, the result that you wanted was it better than the physical torture? Cette méthode donnait de meilleurs résultats que la torture physique. Réponse. I did not do any comparative study. Je n'ai pas fait d'études comparatives. Thank you, says the lawyer. Question. Merci.
regarding your statement to the president two weeks ago. Vous avez répondu au président il y a deux semaines. You said que Nunchia wanted to experiment in using the medicine through you on the victims or the prisoners. And today, you also replied to the co-prosecutor's question that you swapped the paracetamol to be used instead, and nobody was aware of this, except you yourself alone. So the question is, your decision to do that in violation of the order en infraction des ordres reçus or the instruction from your superior en infraction des instructions was it your de votre feeling of sympathy or what was your thinking at the time un sentiment de sympathie pour les prisonniers que pensiez-vous the accused réponse i would like to reiterate that There are actually two matters. One was the issue of sympathy. I think, yes, to a certain level, I did have the feeling of sympathy. The second important matter is that I did not want to kill anyone with my own hands, as I stated to Judge LaVange. I would not want to have my hand involved directly in the killing of any person. So these two issues combined together in response to your question. Et les deux aspects se sont combinés. Thank you, says the lawyer. Question. My next question. When Nunchi gave you the medicine, was it a pill? Was it a powder? Or was it a, a serum? A fluid? Or was it a capsule? Type? And was he there? to wait and see the experiment of the medicine? The accused. Uncle Noon never entered S21. He called me to for work assignment at the Buddhist Institute, and the medicine was in the form of capsule. So we can pull one side out and I threw out the powder inside and replaced it with the paracetamol powder. Thank you, says the lawyer. Can you confirm that? In which month or year did you undertake the experiment of that medicine? The accused, I cannot recall. But I think uh, probably some surviving documents would give us some lead on this. The documents, documents from my training uh, during a certain period of time, I gave instructions regarding the hiding of weapons, regarding the poisoning. So it, it happens during that period of training. However, I cannot recall the date. Pendant cette formation, mais je ne me souviens pas de la date Thank de la formation. Thank you. Question. Merci. My question. Question suivante. Is that the capsules that you provided to the prisoners? Que vous avez donné aux prisonniers. What was the name? of the powder inside the capsule? What was the actual medical name for that? Dans cette capsule. The accused, uh, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, I do not know what it was called, Maître, but I can clearly recall that the capsule itself had a half is in dark green color and the one is in pale green color. And when I pulled it out, I saw ouverte, a powder mixed with other substance inside, and I, I threw that away, and I was not sure whether it was poisonous or not. Si After I cleaned the inside of the capsule, then I re refilled it with the paracetamol powder. The president, the, president. the chamber will take a 15-minute break until 5 past 3, when we, the chamber will resume.